it's me, Excanadensis, and today's video is going to be a showcase of various things that I use for my doll collection, and I'm choosing to show products from Amazon because this is the most accessible that I can show. Uh, this is basically going to be limited to the US by nature of Amazon, but um, I just wanted to show these products because a lot of them are things that I get asked about regularly, like what doll stands I use, and others are just ideas that maybe you'll be able to implement into your own collections. None of these are affiliated with me in any way, and I will not be using affiliate links. I'm going to tell you honestly how I feel about them. I'm just a doll collector that found these things and either likes them or doesn't like them, and we will see. A lot of this stuff is repeat purchases for me, but some of it is not, so let's get into it. So first, these are the Q Leachy doll stands. These are just fashion fever stands, really, that's it, Barbie fashion fever stands. And these are my tried and true doll stands. These are all that I use. And basically any bootleg doll stand that looks like this is going to be identical in quality. But these ones are very uh, affordable. So I like these. You can also order this sort of thing off of wholesale sites like AliExpress, which is likely where these Amazon sellers are getting them. But um, when you need them rather quickly, this is an ideal option. But I'm probably going to start wholesaling them because it gets a little expensive. These are around $7 ordinarily for 10 doll stands, which... It's fairly decent in my opinion, and let me show you what dolls I use these stands for. Alright, so I brought over a bunch of various different doll brands that I collect to demonstrate how much I like these stands, and again, these stands, any stand that looks remotely like this is the same thing. They'll work basically the same, so you don't really need to order them from Amazon, but it's nice to be able to get them in like two days. And I wanted to show just how versatile they actually are because when I first started getting these, I thought that they would really only work for like Barbie sized dolls, but they work really well for thinner dolls like Monster High. It's very surprising. So first, I feel like they're quite versatile because this is probably just because they're bootleg, but you can pull this considerably further down than you normally could. So dolls like these H2O dolls, which are way too tall because of the fin to stand on normal stands and they're not super poseable, not enough where I can, where I want to display them sitting down, but this works super well. And I can even have her floating. In fact, it's better if I have her floating, although they're quite top heavy, so I have to weigh down the bottom in order to execute that. But I mean, it works really, really well for weird dolls, I guess, like this one with the tail. And then we have, this is a Purnimo doll. Just wanted to show various dolls that I collect that fit on these stands, and she fits quite well, actually. Pyrenemo stands are awful, by the way, so these are much better. This is a Rainbow High doll. I use these for, like, my cheer dolls, or if I don't know where the stands are currently for my Rainbow High dolls, I use these. Monster High, honestly, works super well, which is great, because Monster High stands are fragile, and not every doll came with them, and if you're buying secondhand, good luck getting stands. Barbie, of course, fits, but funny enough, the dolls that I have the most trouble with these stands with are actually Barbies, even though these are made for Barbies. So basically with certain types of shoes, the stand clip will go too high and then the doll pops off the stand really easily. So um, you can see that these shoes have a bit of a platform on them, but works for most of them. And the ones that it doesn't work for, you can actually put it around the leg. With dolls like this that have like harder plastic legs it doesn't work as well but with dolls like this that have rubbery legs they actually fit really really well so mycene dolls are often too tall because they have the mycene feet but this works so it's awesome they, this also works for brats by the way i didn't bring one over but brats dolls fit um splash beauty so this is an omg doll fits really well and like amazing and then fail fix i actually did not think would fit I usually just use Monster High stands for them, but they actually fit super well. And it's because you can adjust them further down the stand. And then if you don't want this situation, you can actually cut this lower, which I might do, depending on... I mean, once I have enough of these stands where my whole collection is accommodated, I can start actually doing that. Because for some dolls, like Barbies that have big ball gowns on, it would be better to put the stand around the leg and then cut the rest off. But I don't know. So these are the doll stands that I use. I ordered 50 of them today, <laughs> so that's going to get eaten up fast in my collection, I know that, but hey, it is what it is. Since this is a review, I wanted to talk about some of the negative sides of these doll stands. First of all, they're very lightweight, so they can fall over quite easily. Some dolls will over time bend the stand. I've only had this happen with a few dolls, and usually it's ones that are 
um, needing to be displayed weird like this doll for example. Sometimes you can get this um, stand pole permanently warped and then sometimes too I've had them come warped. What am I supposed to do about that? Sometimes these can be a little delicate. You can actually see where they might snap. I haven't had a lot of these snap though I will say. I've been using these stands since 2018 I believe like late 2018 and I've not had that many of the clips break but this part breaks quite easily when you try to attach inside here and with some of the stands over time they'll be a little loose like even this is a brand new one that I just bought it's a little loose already um, but overall for the price especially if you can get these cheaper via wholesale of some sort these are unbeatable I'm not buying Kaiser stands Kaiser stands are metal doll stands and they are quite expensive and honestly I don't super like them for display anyway um so those are the negative points. Sometimes they're a bit breakable, but overall, like I would much prefer this to buying more Monster High stands and trying to make that work or trying to figure out where to get Barbie stands because Mattel refuses to release them in any reasonable way. And I feel like no, no doll company is doing this. So this is a great alternative. This is quite heavy. So next up we have these. So these are acrylic display risers by some company called Andgoo. And all of these will be linked below. Like you don't need to worry about um like typing all that in and this was $20 and I get two sets of three acrylic display risers so a total of six of them and I was really impressed with these ones because all the acrylic display risers I find are way smaller than you think they're going to be and these are actually enormous so I've never used this brand's risers before so I'm excited to see if I like the height or not so right now they have a protective film on them which is nice because it keeps them from getting super cut up and you can leave it on if you want, if you don't mind the like milky look to them, but we're gonna take it off so that we can see what these actually look like. And I like these clear ones. I know you can just make your own risers. People tell me that all the time. And it's like, yeah, I can make my own, but generally when I make my own, they end up buckling under the weight of the dolls at some point. And also I just really like these, um, the look of these acrylic ones. So. I think it's worth the investment. They will be useful for me forever. And they're quite durable. Anyway. But obviously $20 for acrylic risers that will maybe fill one shelf is a big investment. Okay. So this is what these are looking like. And I'm going to show these dolls that I have before us on these risers to show kind of like how many dolls you can fit. And of course this varies based on what dolls you're using. So it looks like you could comfortably fit three dolls on the top row, which honestly, often with these risers that I've been buying from Amazon and stuff, I can only fit two comfortably. So this is really nice. And you could potentially fit seven total if you were to put two risers next to each other. So like that. Anyway. After this clip, I'm going to show where I put these on my doll shelves. Oh, well, the height discrepancy here is not great. Okay, I'm going to use these dolls that are kind of similar heights just to get an idea. Hold on just a moment. I'm going to go get more rainbow high dolls. That would make more sense. All right, so I have successfully stacked nine dolls onto the risers. This is a common problem that I have with risers in general. Sets of three are never far enough apart to make a display like this. A stacked display makes sense because if we're from the front and especially at the level that you'd be looking at these it just doesn't unfortunately does not work but this is my fix for this there you go <laughs> this is just how i prefer risers to be some people don't mind if you can't see the back row but i prefer for them to be like this so i can see these two and then also you could just do that. That's another option because you don't really need this riser. It's a bit unnecessary. But I use these for various different collections that I have. I normally will not use all three on one collection. So for me, this works. These risers are better for more staggered displays. So if you were to do like, this is a bit of an extreme example, but something, switch this back in something more like this is more what these risers work for or you could do something with smaller things 
and rainbow hydals have big old heads so they actually don't work as well in risers as other things do but anyway these are really nice i'm glad that they're actually going to be useful for rainbow high i bought some acrylic risers let me tell you why i think a video like this is useful i bought a set of acrylic risers and they they looked like this in the pictures and they must have put miniature items on them or something and i should have read the description more closely but they were legit this big so <laughs> i uh that's not exactly what i was looking for i was trying to buy something like this and they were expensive too so lesson learned i recommend these i'm enjoying them a lot i know amazon can be a bit weird sometimes when you try to buy stuff but in my experience if i get something weird that is not what i ordered they generally will refund me but um sometimes that's not the case i don't know i actually have a fun bonus in the realm of acrylic risers that i bought last week so i'm going to show those to you now so these next risers that i bought were a bit of a silly purchase like nobody needs these but i've been really interested in products made of this iridescent acrylic material for a while these are expensive i'm pretty sure they were like 25 dollars for just three of them so you get double with these ones but this is something that i've just been really interested in and i figured since i was doing this video i could show them and i'm honestly really pleased with them they're really nice quality and they work really well for displays same problem as these though for dolls specifically you don't you can't really use all three in one display but I can just use two and then use this for another display, which if you buy a multiple, that actually makes a lot of sense. And I'll show you kind of what I've done with that in the past. So this room is actually quite packed in because I'm slowly unpacking my dolls and it's a mess. But anyway, these are actually from two different sets. So I use the taller ones of these for my dolls and these are the middle range ones. So I can't use them for the dolls. I could, well, I can use them for the dolls, but not in the same tiered display. So I used these acrylic risers which are unfortunately discontinued but I got them at Target and then these and I've been able to create a perfect stack display and if you collect a lot of different things like I do you will find a use for the kind of oddly sized ones and I could even use those super short ones that um some acrylic sets will come with like this this set actually did come with some really weird tiny ones and if these are still available I will link them in the description and you can take a look at those as well but there's also these really tiny ones that I used to use on my pretty curve display because I can pop these up too and then have many figures like these up front and it just looks a little bit nicer and I love this display. I don't even think I posted a video about this, maybe I did. So this next thing is a much cheaper, much more realistic alternative to risers and they're gonna function the same as risers and actually look quite good. I'm really excited about these because I've actually used these as risers in the past. I don't like the way that they ship these to me but I've actually used these as risers in the past and they're quite sturdy. So I have a lot of faith in these and I'm very excited about them. So these are shipping boxes for trading cards is what they are or storage boxes for trading cards and once I put them together I'm gonna have some really nice display sizes for my dolls and I know from experience because they're trading card size that these are really really nicely sized for dolls so basically you just have to put it together which does not take very long. And the reason I prefer this to just buying a bunch of cardboard and doing this myself is because these are standard measurements, so I don't have to worry about like doing very precise detailed cuts. And these are very clean. And also because these are also boxes, a really good idea for doll storage. And I might actually switch to this as one of my main doll storage methods in terms of like extra stuff for my dolls is you can just put their stuff in here. So the dolls that are on top put their things in the box and then you'll always have it associated directly with the dolls all right so this is the box they're a bit smaller than the trading card shipping boxes that i'm used to but they are a great height to use as doll risers these aren't great for rainbow high but if i show them with say i think barbie would be a good example rainbow high is just kind of an anomaly and that is actually a pretty good height for rainbow high but it's just not my preferred height. I like them to be a lot taller so you can see the dolls better. But see, this is absolutely perfect for Barbie and my scene, which are the same size. They're the same type of doll. So, and this was a pack of 25 of them, and I think I paid 20 bucks for them. So this is way better deal. And you can get really long ones of these. You can get smaller ones, whatever will accommodate your collection. I'll link the ones that I bought because those are the only ones that I can confidently recommend. But I'm very pleased with this. So now... I've been using Pure Nemo boxes, which are just 
these dolls. Their boxes are actually really good sizes for risers, but, um, you know, you can see the dolls drawn on, so we'll print it onto the boxes. So I'm just going to switch that to these card boxes. And I also, I might just do this for Rainbow High because I think this would actually work better. We'll try it here now today, folks. Mm -mm. Oh, it's perfect. Well, Georgia. Rainbow High stands, unfortunately, are not perfect. All right. So once I flatten them a bit better on the bottom. Haha, -ha, perfect. Okay, that is a beautiful height for this. All right. I love this. I love this. I love this. Okay, so picking up the camera. We are going to reset this shelf, but with these new risers that I've just purchased. So I will be right back. There's a nice little time lapse of that. Unfortunately, some Rainbow High dolls like Ruby have hats or like hairstyles that face upwards, so I couldn't stack the boxes this way like I wanted. It was a little bit too tall. If they weren't on the Rainbow High stands, they actually would fit, but I'd rather just leave them on their stands. But this actually looks really good, and I'm able to fit a lot more than I could before on this shelf, and I think it looks very clean as well. And then I propped up the Junior High dolls on the acrylic just for fun. I'm probably not leaving them there. All right, so this is what this shelving area is looking like right now. I'm anticipating the release of Series 2 of Junior High. That's why these are here. I was thinking about displaying them somewhere else, but honestly, Series 2 of Junior High is, like, coming soon. So why not just display them here? And Rainbow High dolls, there's so many coming that I want um, as many sh dolls on one shelf as possible. And it's going to be pretty cool when there's Series 1 and Series 2 of the Junior High dolls to have them sitting up front. Um, anyway, Series 1 is rough, so sorry the dolls look like that. Also, my poppy... I packed some of my favorite, not all of them, but some of my favorite dolls separately, and I haven't unpacked them yet. I moved relatively recently, and I've been super busy. Um, Kaya was packed somewhere else. I already found her, but I haven't found Poppy yet, so I put your Poppy there as a placeholder. But as you can see, I was going to flip the boxes, so instead of... I'll show... I'll use this box as an example. Instead of having them flat like this, I was going to do it like this, but they were just a little bit too tall that way to accommodate the dolls, but... Instead, I can just do a slightly staggered display, so I'm not fully moving them aside, but I'm kind of, I can put them a lot closer than they are right now, but I have no need to, but basically you can do something like this, and you can still see most of the dolls in the back, but you can also fit more if you do it like that, so that's kind of why I'm doing it that way. But since I don't really need that much space right now, I'm going to do it like that. And then the Junior High dolls right now are sitting on the acrylic risers. I think that's kind of unnecessary. I honestly might just set them on the bottom, but I wanted to show, you know, a use for them and that it's actually the perfect height for them to sit, so it looks really adorable. And I think this looks a lot better than the Pure Nemo boxes. I still will probably end up using the Pure Nemo boxes. I have an endless need for doll storage, but as you can see, these are basically the exact same height. So... A great find. <laughs> I'm very glad that I thought of these because I generally don't like to buy things like acrylic risers because they're expensive and I'd rather find an alternative that's going to be cheaper and I can get way more of them so that in the long run I can do more and then in the future if I want to do acrylic risers fully and I have the money to do so I can but I don't have to front a huge cost to achieve that. All right, so this next thing I am so unbelievably excited about. So these are nail polish shelves. Brooke, what are you going to do with nail polish shelves? Hear me out. So this was $35, which is quite a bit, but when I get into what I'm going to do with them, you're going to understand why I did this. So you get six of these. They look like this once you take the film off. With film, they're kind of blue. Um, and my plan for these is that ever since I was nine years old, I have wanted to buy nail polish shelves for my littlest pet shops they are the perfect size to display littlest pet shops and it's going to be so cool so i'm really really excited to show you this and include these in this video because i've wanted these for so long and these are super cute they have this like fun wave pattern which isn't really ideal for littlest pet shops but honestly i don't mind it i think it's really adorable and i'm going to go now because i've actually already set up a bunch of littlest pet shops on two of the shelves and Oh my gosh, y'all are going to love this. And I'll show you how you could use these for dolls. And acrylic shelves also exist without this lip. Like, these are nail polish specifically, but there's others that exist that are just acrylic shelves. And I'm not going to link any because, again, I don't want to link something that I haven't purchased and I'm not enjoying. Because I don't... I can't really recommend something that I don't own. I would hate to recommend something that ends up being crappy or a scam of some sort. Um, but I will also show how you can use these for dolls. And my plan actually is to buy 
my filming light's in the way right now, so excuse that. My plan right now is to buy a bunch of the acrylic shelves that don't have the lip on them and put them up there above my store display so that I can put Rainbow High Dolls in box as well as just like others on display on that blank wall space. And then also the Littles Pet Shops are there right now, but this wall, I could do those types of shelves and I think it'll look so cool. And any wall space that's not being utilized by these sorts of shelves right now can be utilized by acrylic shelves, which are relatively inexpensive and they're super versatile. You can put them up with like thumbtacks or command hooks. And I think these are super ideal if you live in an apartment, not necessarily these, like you might not be able to use these because they have such a small lip on them, but, well, they have such a small display space. Like you can't put doll stands on that, but you could put dolls on it, just not their stands. And then I also wanted to show this because this is a feature of the shelves and I'm not sure what the point of this is. I kind of think I can see what it is, but I think they didn't really think very far into it. So it comes with these little shelf feet, which is actually quite nice because you can, without using this as an actual shelf on the wall, you can still use this, but you can't link the shelves to each other to make like a stacked thing. So I'm not really sure what the point of little feet is. I don't know, but it's nice that it's included in case somebody does have a use for it. And this would actually be super cool as like a little pencil or school supply holder for your desk or something. I don't know. All right, we're gonna go over to where the little pet shops are now. I'm so happy with this. So I just, these aren't really like straight or even or anything. I just used thumbtacks to put them into the wall so that we could see how they look. And look at this. So you can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11 littles pet shops ish so like 10 to 12 probably would be a good estimate per shelf at least per the ones that I bought and they look so good and if I buy I mean I'm gonna need a lot of these but if I buy more of them I can have my collection on display like this and then my plan I just want to talk about them and we'll show these in a doll room update at some point and I'll be doing a little special collection video once they're all on display. I can get one of these shelves, which my mom actually found me another one. So that'll be the little special one. And I'll have their play sets here. So I can have some pets in the play sets, but I don't want the play sets to be overcrowded and I want them to be accessible if I want to use them for filming or photography. And I don't want to have to remove a bunch of pets from them every time I want to use them. So these will be perfect as like, similar to a nail polish rack, your nail polish is on display, it's out of the way. And when you need to use one, you can do it. Use it for whatever you're going to use it for, and then pop it right back on the display. And I would use the giraffe or the bunny with the long ears as a kind of size estimate thing. And now let's clear the top shelf so that we can take a look at these being useful for dolls, because that's probably what y'all are here for. So if you don't have doll stands, or if you don't have a lot of space or just not even a lot of dolls, you could actually... Okay, I was about to do it with a doll that doesn't have shoes on, but that's probably not the best idea. We're gonna use dolls that have shoes on because they'll balance a lot better. Use this Chiramaya with hair gel. Um, but anyway... Hmm. She's not wanting to stand. She's like leaning forward. Oh no. Maybe it won't work. I was thinking that it would work, but Rainbow High Dolls have really big heads. So these definitely can be used for dolls, but should they? Eh, probably not, but they are pretty affordable. And if you collect things that aren't dolls, that would fit. And you can check the dimensions on the website, but it is quite narrow here. It's perfect for um, G4 My Little Ponies, G2 My Little Ponies potentially, G3.5 My Little Ponies, the Ponyville size ones, and the Blind Bag My Little Ponies, Littles Pet Shops. I bet Pop Finals might work, but I'm not 100% sure. You'd have to check the Amazon reviews. I'm sure somebody would have posted if they work. Um, or nail polish would work quite well for nail polish. Just think about things that would fit on a nail polish shelf, really. Um, but I love these. I love the pop of color. I don't really even mind the little wave thing, although... It's it's definitely not ideal, but I really like it. I just prefer that they would have maybe flat, but I think it's very cute regardless. Um, so yeah, and in the future, I'm planning on buying, like I said, non-nail polish shelves that are similar to this, just flat, so that I can fill this wall. Because the lead shelves that I normally use, I'm not the... Mm, I might use them, I don't know. But I'd like to get some of those acrylic shelves just to try them out, and I can do a video on that when I do. Probably would be a doll room update. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully this gave you some display ideas if you're planning on any. I think the main takeaway is that you can get these like flashy expensive things that most people would say like, oh, get these acrylic risers, but there's alternatives. You can just use cardboard boxes really. And you can, even if you want like fresh, clean matching cardboard boxes, you can do that too. 
Um, I really like reusing doll boxes, like the LOL Tweens boxes are very nice for display risers, but, you know, sometimes I don't want to have to do some scrapbooking paper project, and even then, if MGA changes the size of those boxes, that'll be a very finite amount that I have in that I can use, you know? It's just nice to be able to order something consistent, and I ordered 25 of these boxes for around $20, which is a steal in my opinion, considering what I'm using them for, and even... As shipping boxes go, that's actually pretty good considering these are specialty ones. Um, and those are going to work super well and last a long time, and I'm, I'm very happy with them. And then the acrylic ones, you know, those are a bit fancier, they're unnecessary, they're a little, like, you know, they're a little excessive, but I really enjoy them, and I wanted to show some alternatives, like the really fancy iridescent ones because maybe if you have like a very special display like I might use that one for my prototype specifically you can invest a little bit more in that one and then you can use you know more simple ones for other displays because um I don't really see the point in investing in like a full acrylic display riser situation even though it would be very cute I don't think it's super necessary and yeah that's it for this video. If you guys have other ideas of things that you guys have enjoyed, I would love to hear them in the comments and you can recommend things to other people as well. Um, I have no qualms with that. Just know that YouTube will hold links automatically because there's a lot of spam and scams going around on YouTube at all times. So <laughs> it'll hold the links, but I'll try to let them through. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. For all this time, bye!